Hello folks, Dave Schulke here with the Twin Plumbers. Well, I'm here again in another episode of our trenchless epoxy lining. As you can see, I'm here inside of a sports court with a major offset and a break in a clay pipe. So what we're going to show you today is another successful, well, hopefully successful, trenchless technology by excavating on the outside of the sports court so we can insert our liner, rehabilitating this line, and more importantly, saving the customer money and preventing major excavation to this expensive sports court. Stay tuned. Okay, folks, here we are at the excavated hole. Remember, sometimes you do have to make a excavation to get access to the pipe. In this situation, we're just outside the sports court. I was standing about right over there, about 40 feet out. And here we are. I want to show you exactly where we're going to insert our inversion liner here. We're going to set it up right here and blow it uh, again about 40 feet out to rehabilitate and repair this line. That's the next step, so uh, let's wait to get set up for that. To ensure a smooth insulation, the first step we take is run a sewer and drain camera down the drain to perfectly measure out the new liner. We then prepare our housing unit that's going to hold the liner and the epoxy while we're inserting it into the sewer line. We then measure and mix a two-part epoxy. This epoxy being mixed is what becomes the new pipe. After mixing our epoxy resin, we pour it into a felt liner. The felt liner is what holds the epoxy in place in the pipe. The liner is rolled to ensure that there are no air gaps in the epoxy. The liner and epoxy are then set into the housing unit. They can then be blown or even pulled into place in the sewer line. This particular trenchless method is a less invasive approach to sewer replacement or repairs. It saves you money on labor and restoration to your yard. Because the liner is seamless, it doesn't have any joints which will make for a much stronger pipe. The new seamless epoxy pipe will mold to the older piping. This method will restore the structural integrity of the existing pipe and it will create the new pipe within the old. Most sewer liners and replacements can be done within one to two days. Being that this is a less disruptive method to sewer replacement, in many cases after the repairs, it looks as if we were never even there. You'll see the average cost for these type of repairs to be from $130 to about $250 per foot. Epoxy sewer lining provides a 50 year life expectancy on the material. Well there you have it, hopefully that gave you some insight. Another successful line uh, rehabilitated here with the Twin Plumbers. You know we love saving lines. Well hopefully this was educational, informative and you know, if there's any questions, please feel free to give us a call. We're always here to help. Anyhow, as always, thanks for watching.